animals in winter. The days grow short, the nights grow long, it is getting colder, winter is coming. Leaves have fallen from the trees, there are no berries on the bushes. Insects are gone, the grass is dead and brown. Birds and other animals are getting ready for winter. <clears throat> Some of the birds will go south. Bluebirds and orioles go toward the south. They go where it is warm. They go where it is sunny and there is food for them to eat. Many butterflies go south. That is what the monarch butterflies do. They gather in a tree by the hundreds before cold weather comes. They stay in the tree all night in the morning, they fly away. Many bats fly south too, but some bats stay in the north all winter. When the weather gets cold, they go to a cave. There is no wind or snow in the cave. The bats sleep there all winter. They do not eat. They live on fat stored inside them. They do not move. They hardly breathe. They sleep, sleep, sleep. They hibernate. <clears throat> Bats and woodchucks hibernate. They do this so they can live in the winter when they cannot find food. Here is a woodchuck. Maybe you call him a groundhog. Or a marmot. He gets ready for winter too. When fall comes, he eats and eats and eats. He eats grass, twigs, and leaves. He grows fat. When it gets cold, the woodchuck crawls into his long tunnel and goes to sleep. He hibernates. Does he sleep for a day? Longer than that. Does he sleep for a week? Longer than that, a month, even longer. A woodchuck can sleep as long as four months. The woodchuck seems hardly alive. He breathes very slowly. His heart beats slowly, slowly, slowly. He sleeps, sleeps, sleeps. When winter is over, he wakes up. He crawls out of the long tunnel. He is weak. I would imagine four months without food. <laughs> the woodchuck eats what food he can find. There is not much. The plants have just started to grow. Some animals do not have to hibernate. They gather food and save it for the winter. This is what a pika does. The pika looks like a chipmunk in some ways, but he is bigger. He lives in high mountains where winters are long and cold. Pikas eat grass. In summer, they cut more grass than they can eat. They spread the grass on flat stones. The hot sun dries it. At the end of the summer, a pika may have gathered 50 pounds of grass. He hides it under rocks. In winter, he eats the dry grass. It keeps him alive. Squirrels gather food too and save it for winter. They dig holes in the ground. They bury hickory nuts and acorns. When winter comes, they dig them up and eat them. Sometimes squirrels forget where they bury the nuts. I was just going to say that. <laughs> Trees may grow from the nuts that squirrels forget. What if they forget where they planted them? <laughs> Some animals do not get ready for winter at all. They do not store food, 
they do not hibernate. They must hunt for food all winter long. There are mice that must hunt all winter for seeds of goldenrod, asters, and other wild plants. Sometimes they eat the farmer's corn, oats, and wheat. The deer must dig in the snow for dried leaves, plants, and moss. When the snow is deep, he must eat the twigs, buds, and bark of trees. The rabbit must hunt under the snow for bits of grass and plants. When the snow is deep, he too eats buds and bark off bushes, so he can stay alive. In the winter, the fox hunts for mice and rabbits. So does the wolf. When the winter is cold and the snow is deep, many animals cannot find food. They get very hungry. There are some, these are some of the ways of wild animals in winter.